Okay, that took me like five minutes to figure out where I put it away. <laughs> All right. So. Technically, I can still say good morning <laughs> because it's 11.47 a.m. Wednesday, January 13th. I uh, edited a couple of videos that I filmed yesterday for my two, one for each Facebook group. They're loading to YouTube Unlisted right now and the links will be shared on Friday in the two groups. If you want to see those videos and you want the links, go join the Facebook groups. The links are down below in, in my link tree, also in my link tree list, list of links, which is down below. Go check it out. I have an email newsletter. I've got an Etsy store. I've got Patreon. All the things for the things. In fact, for Patreon, we have Friday Zooms. They do get recorded for the people who can't come. And then um, those videos are also unlisted. So, yeah. Um, today I am fixing my moleskin. In one of the videos I showed this, all of my journals end up looking like this, um, but the moleskins tend to start breaking at the at the spine, at the kind of right, right in here. So I'm going to actually cut the cover off. I'm going to preserve the cover for the most part. I'm going to just make the spine bigger and then tape it back, uh, yeah, ta tape it back on, glue it back on. Um, I, I want to preserve the elastic and everything, so I haven't really done this before. But um, when documented life class was uh, popular, there's a lot of YouTubers who showed how to do this. Um, sorry, I'm chatting with my friend Mike Deacon. Um, there's a lot of YouTubers who showed how to do this, so um, I would say just um, do some searching on YouTube. But I am going to show you kind of a little bit uh, of how to do this right now, and um, let's get that pointed down to the table and I'll be right back. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is carefully cut the spine from the, the book block, the pages, which I've already done on the front. I'm gonna show you how to do that from the back. Um, the one thing I might not preserve is the pocket because I really don't use it for anything, so I might take the pocket off. Um, I'm gonna leave the first page and the last page attached because I'm gonna use that to reattach the cover. But I want to just cut through, um, hold on, okay. I wanna just cut through where the back cover meets this page, this little, like, right here. So we're gonna just very carefully put the reading glasses on so I can see what I'm doing, because that's helpful. And just very carefully pull everything apart. Keep your fingers out of the way. Once you get it started, you should be able to run the X-Acto knife up against the old spine and cut the cover off without cutting any of the signatures. There we go, in the, in the book, like that. So now I've got a loose book block, which we're gonna actually reinforce a little bit with some tape because this, I, I did a page right here in the very beginning and can you see it's a little holy? So we're gonna fix that. First, we're gonna make the spine on this bigger. And again, I do think we're gonna take this, this pocket off because I don't really. Okay. Okay, so now I also wanna preserve the bookmark. I like the bookmark. Um, but the spine is only like a quarter of an inch and it really needs to be at least an inch, inch and a half because it's really just gonna be way too small. Mm. So, how to do this, how to do this. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this and leave 
the bookmark attached towards one side or the other and then just increase the spine accordingly. So I think I'm going to cut up the back cover. And separate these. And if you're doing something like this and you're hoping, hope I'm not making a big mistake, that's probably pretty normal. <laughs> okay, so now, 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 we need to add like at least an inch, at least that much. So what I want to do is I want to add a piece of chipboard, I think, um, to this to make the spine. So let me go get a piece and I'll be right back. All right, so the first thing I want to do is measure how big, how long this is. So line up the top of my cover with the top of the chipboard and make a pencil mark. Okay. And then do something for the width. Okay. And we will cut this. I'm using my quilting ruler, which these quilting rulers, if you're using, if you're buying new tools for your art room and you don't have one of these, these come in infinitely handy in the art room. Whether you're a sewer or not, you can get them at Joann's and Michael's. Uh, use a coupon. I've had this, I've, I have a few of these and I've had them a really long time. Okay. Now let's make sure it's the right size for our spine. I'm going to leave uh, about a sixteenth of an inch gap or so between the spine and the covers. We are going to cover it with book binding tape. Which is really, really sticky and hard to pull off. Okay, then I'm going to put this one here, hopefully kind of straight. That's my husband making lunch, FYI. And then we'll put this one over here. And then I'm going to fold this up. Okay. Now my tape is only so wide and it's probably not wide enough for this. So we're gonna do two things. We're going to put more tape, black tape on the outside, but I'm also gonna cover this inside with, I have white tape. So you wanna make sure.
It has the bookmark. Now the bookmark's towards the front, but I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I might put like a little charm or something at the end at some point. Now we have to do work on this. So um, as I said with this, this first page is got some holes in it. And actually when I, just FYI, when I made the cover, so we have this. Um, so, because I might, I, I might want to put something here. So, um, we're going to glue the back to where the pocket was, and we're going to glue the front to this page. So, but I think that'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. So, but first we have to like do something to help this because it's like having issues. Yeah. All right. We're going to use the white book binding tape. This stuff is really, really, really sticky. So if you're gonna do book binding, you can either use anything. I mean, you can use lots of things, but this stuff is not in for this purpose. And once you get it stuck on there, it is not going anywhere. So if you have a little money to invest and you like book binding, you might wanna invest in some tape, special tape and tools. Giving it a trim. down okay so now it's fixed it's no longer holy pushing the little loose pieces of paper that were in here into the tape. Okay, now to get this in. I think this is the hard part, getting this in. I think this is gonna be the harder part. I might want to take this off. All right, let's do that. fair as I'm doing it and I'm thinking about it that's probably what you should do too so you just have one layer but if you have problems like I did with mine you're going to have to take this off anyway to put tape here to fix the problem with this first page and then go ahead and tape this on like I don't think there's any way to avoid that so let's put some tape on this I don't think that spine's going anywhere now. Now we just need to get it back in the book block. So then my question still becomes how to get it in the book block. Do I want to just tape it in? <clears throat> Do I want to glue it in? How do I want to get it in? Or tape it in? 
I could tape it in. I could tape the whole thing in. This book binding tape. That actually might be a good idea. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a combination of tape and glue. I think that's what I feel confident doing. I've used some large binder clips to um, clip the book block together so it stays where I want it to. And then I'm going to tape it in with white tape on the inside and then I'm gonna go around with black tape on the outside, I think. And so that, if I take these off, that's given me a new spine. It's not the prettiest thing on the planet, but it will work. Hopefully I did it not upside down. Nope, I did it upside down. <laughs> Holy cow. Well, let's do that again, shall we? <laughs> to be fair, I'm not sure if I'm going to cut it out or not, but I already did it upside down once, so I just fixed it. We've still got our bookmark, so I can still go to the next page and mark, mark that. I might want to put a little charm or something at the bottom. Yeah, that works. Now I do think I want to like not leave this like this. I think I want to glue these and or cover this with something that's like pretty. So let me get out the yes. Okay, so I'm going to paste this to here and then I'm going to use some of these watercolory prints from printing with my art foamies um, to put that here on the inside and sort of cover up some of what's going on there. I don't, I don't think I care too much about this side, but I, I think I don't want to just put some of this here. I might not even cover up the whole thing. We'll see. But let's first, let's get the flap glued together. the glue. Now yes, paste takes a long time to dry, so you have time to manipulate it if you don't think get things on straight right away. I still have my large clips here, so I can. Now if you do this right, put you're going to need a clip that's big enough to hold the whole book. But if you put it on here and then you angle it, like it might help hold the book up for you. So then it's up and it's out of the way and sturdy and you can get in here and do, do what you need to easily. Oops. Unless you do that and you bump it. Okay. So I'm going to put some more yes paste over this. Try not to get too thick a coating. one of these and just put the whole thing on there. Theoretically, you're going to do a better job at this of standing your book upright than I am. All right. 
So then I'm going to push this into the glue again. And turn it around and use my craft knife to trim. I got this piece of sea glass from a neighbor. She brought it back from a trip. She went on uh, a house sat and dog sat for her. So that was really great. Um, so that was perfect to put on there. And um, I covered the knot with some fabric tack. It's got to dry, but yeah, pretty happy with the way this turned out. Um, so if you're having a journal that's starting to look more like this and you want it to look like this, Think about just disassembling it a bit and adding to the spine. The spine part here won't look pretty unless I actually take the signatures apart and re-sew them. That being said, the way I've done this, I could do that if I decide to do that at a later date because I didn't glue this part down. So all I would have to do is cut it here and here and pull the text block out, unstitch it and re-stitch it yeah, wider and take pages out. I don't really want to do that right now, um, but will that happen later? Uh, we'll see how it goes. So anyway, there we go. I wish they just made them like this to begin with. Maybe someday they'll get a clue. All right, that's it for the minute. It's a beautiful day out. Hopefully we can <clears throat> get some... Uh, walking in, I don't know, but it is a gorgeous day outside, and I don't think we have like two days with no rain, so yay. All right, I'll be back. <laughs>